Hi, this is Robbie from GreatViolinCases.com, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Gewa Air 2.1 Oblong Violin Cases and why these cases have been popular among professional violinists pretty much around the world. So these cases are made in Germany, and they actually get their name Air uh, from how light these cases are. Each oblong case weighs about 4.4 pounds. Now these cases are made of thermoplastic shells. What's thermoplastic? Uh, it's basically a molding technique where the shape of the case is molded under extreme temperatures into the shape that you see. This is different from other techniques where maybe a manufacturer will take carbon fiber sheets. It's a very strong material, very strong uh, metal, but it's actually bent into the shape of the case. And this is these areas where it's being bent that's most vulnerable to damages. You're not going to have that issue with these Gewa Air cases because uh, the shape is molded from the very beginning, which just makes it more protective and more durable all the way around. Plus plastic is much, much more temperature resistant uh, compared to carbon fiber cases. So these Gewa Air cases will be more temperature resistant than say carbon fiber violin cases. Another unique feature about thermoplastic is that it can come in several colors. Now, what I have here today with me are actually three of our top selling uh, cases in terms of color. So we do have the original standard glossy black. Uh, we have a matte black and a matte white. Now you can check out all of the other colors at greatviolincases.com. Uh, the link will be in the description. Now let's take a quick look at the difference between the matte black and the glossy black because this is a very common question that we get on our website. So with the glossy black case, uh, this is kind of the more standard glossy hard case you will see. Um, it's got this glossy layer that's more reflective, uh, so you can almost see your own reflection you know, on this case. With the matte black, it does not have that glossy layer. Uh, so it's not going to reflect light as much. You're not going to see a reflection, kind of like a mirror. And it's also got this really unique uh, fine texture to it. So if you run your fingers on it, um, it's, it's not completely smooth. There's just a little bit of texture to it, which is very unique. Now, another common question we get is, which is better? This really comes down to personal preference. The only difference is the look. Uh, they're both the same in terms of protection and durability. The cases do come with three digit combination locks so you can lock the case. Uh, instructions are provided on how to change the combination. Now what I really really like about these combination locks is that to change the combination there's a little slider in the lock itself that you can only move with say like a pen or a paper clip. Meaning you won't accidentally change the combination just by opening the case. All right, I know some other cases might have that issue. Uh, you won't have to worry about that with these combination locks. On the back of the case, we've got a zippered sheet music pouch, and you get two very well padded and water resistant shoulder straps. The D-rings on the back of this case actually start right here instead of the top. So when you carry this case on your back, uh, say you've got the shoulder straps attached, your shoulders are actually gonna be right here meaning you can sit down, ride a bicycle uh, with this case on your back. Uh, many cases, the D-rings are actually near the top, so, I, so your shoulders are going to be right here. However, that makes it difficult to sit down uh, if you're carrying this case on your back. There's also a subway handle at the top here, along with rubber feet at the bottom, so that you can hold the case vertically uh, and place it against the ground. Now let's take a look at the interior of the case. Uh, we've got four bow holders, and these are Gewa's patented uh, bow holders that snap into place so that you don't have to worry about these bow holders coming loose over time. There is a string tube down here. We've got a large removable accessory pouch. Here we've got an instrument blanket and of course suspension padding. Uh, what is suspension? It basically suspends the violin within the case. Meaning, if you drop the case, the violin doesn't knock against the hard shell of the case itself. Uh, it's nicely suspended on, these, uh, on, on, on this padding here. 
And one of my favorite things about this case is actually the two Velcro rings for shoulder rest. Uh, those two Velcro rings are movable, so you can accommodate shoulder rests of any size, including a Bond Musica shoulder rest. This feature is unlike any that I've seen in an oblong violin case. Uh, most of the time, you get a Velcro strap towards the side of the case, uh, which works well for you know standard Kuhn style shoulder rest, uh, but those straps generally have a hard time wrapping around larger shoulder rests. With this design, with the two Velcro rings, you can accommodate shoulder rests of any size, which is a really, really cool feature. So, to sum it all up, the Gewa Air Oblong Violin cases are incredibly protective cases. Uh, they're very durable. They come in several colors, including unique ones like matte black and matte white. Uh, they're more temperature resistant than carbon fiber cases. They only weigh 4.4 pounds. And they come with a lot of unique features, such as these three-digit combination locks, removable accessory pouch, and of course the two Velcro rings for any size shoulder rest. Uh, it really comes as no surprise that these cases are preferred by many top violinists, museums, uh, even auction houses in protecting you know, violins well worth over $100,000. Uh, so be sure to check them out at greatviolincases.com.